All right. Back at it again. I got my boy Kareem. He just he just stopped by again, man. Uh, I talked to him earlier today, and I hit him up on the phone. I was like, "Bruh, it's something I've been wanting to talk about." And 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 he has a he has he has a daughter, and um, I have a stepdaughter who I raised, and today's generation of young ladies. They've changed a bit as opposed to how they were when we were growing up. Um, you would think you hear you hear us say a lot of times that these young males, these young black males in particular, need father figures, but we never emphasize how important us as men are to to the daughters. And why is it why it's so pivotal that we be there for the girls as well as the boys? Um, the mother could raise a female and show her how to be a female, but it is essential for a man to show a female how she should be treated and be perceived. Do you agree? 110%. Um, and just for my viewers, I do not by no means want you guys to get offended, women in particular, to think that we're here bashing you guys because we're not. All right. I know but, yeah, we're not we're not bashing. We we love our black women, but a lot of you women have dropped the ball with these females, with these these young girls. Uh, as you see this picture behind me, you have a uh, sexy red, and then you have a uh, Krishan Rock, two beautiful young black girls, right? Successful, but. The means is in, in which they're uh, gaining their fame is pretty much the fame of themselves. Um. So I mean, you being be you being a father of a girl, being a girl dad, what do you see being a uh, a, a, a big hindrance in these young ladies' uh, maturation process moving forward? Well, I agree with everything you opened with and everything you just said right now. And just and just to elaborate and add to that, um, we, we also got to blame, you know, not just the women, not just not just men ourselves, but we have to blame society because they're putting these women in positions to choose profit over over morals and values because they're targeting these young black women in these poor situations and these proverb situations and they a lot they are allowing them to release this type of content knowing that it can cause harm and destruction in our communities but because the money sometimes is so good, they choose profit over morals and values. So we have to blame not only just ourselves as men and women, but the culture that we promote, the, the culture that we hold to such a high standard in regard. This is a culture today that I, I don't really want to be a part of like if if this is what the black if this is what black culture is about this is this is a culture i don't want to be a part of because of the the, the destruction and the debauchery that's going on in our communities that's affecting the youth young young women and young men so it's a societal issue as well as it's a mother father upbringing issue and environment issue as well so is this one word that just irks my nerves the word culture yeah all right and i'm gonna tell you why it irks my nerves because they're using it loosely and they're using it out of place right, right. out of context out of context so our culture is not twerking right 
Our culture is not degrading yourselves. That is not culture. Stop calling no. that culture. Right? Not you, I'm just saying. No, people- I get it. No, totally. We've, we've allowed others to define what our culture is. You get what I'm saying? That's not culture, though. But it's not. But it's not. But that's the narrative that's being driven. You get what I'm saying? And and the youth is hanging on to that because that's what it's being called. So therefore, it's being regurgitated and it's just being passed on from generation to generation without anybody correcting them, letting them know, like, look, this this is not culture. This is not black culture. This is not what we're about. You know, so it is up to us, our generation and those before us to continue to push these positive narratives to change the negativity and the thought process is going on with the youth, man, because the youth is our future, bro. They're going to be the ones that we depend on when we get older for, for, for legislations, for, for, for voting purposes, uh, for, for medical purposes, for so many different things. We're going to depend on, we're depending on our youth because they're the future. So it's up to us to continue to try to guide and try to lead them, you know, the right way and give them the information, whether they, whether they use it or take heed to it, it's clearly, it's, it's clearly up to them, but it's up to us to at least lend that to them. All right. So I just pulled up the definition of culture, just, just to be exact. Mm-hmm. The customs, art, social institutions, and achievements of a particular nation, of a particular nation, people, or other social group, culture. Okay. So, so that kind of, all right. So, it's kind of 50 50 it's kind of like the it, 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 the the word fits but it's not a good representation of who we are so you know the, 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 so so they're like trying to create a culture for us and say right. this is going to be your culture right and and then that's not what what, what our culture should be no. um if and here's another thing they're not educated about where they come from the youth they don't put our starts. Knowledge itself. Right. It, I'm seeing some funny. Most of these kids don't even know who Tupac is. They've heard of him, but they don't even understand the significance of Pac. Right. We're, 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 you know, but in our era, we really didn't have a civil rights leader, so we gravitated to Pac like that. But our parents, you know, what I'm saying, seen some civil rights and quote unquote. The real culture, right? But that was the last of the dying breed, right? Um, Dr. King marched for equality, and now that we have equality, which we don't have it a hundred percent because there's still a lot of disdain and in, 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 um, inequalities. But that brother didn't die for these young ladies and these young boys to be killing themselves or degrading themselves, right? And they've um, taken, they've taken. They've taken the rights that a lot of people lost their lives. And, and I mind you, it was some white people that marched with Dr. King as well. A lot of people died and lost their lives in freedom. So we can have an opportunity to succeed. And this is what they're doing with it. And I'm tripping like, wow. Well, this is what uh, Dolores Tucker was talking about back in the 90s when she was trying to ban uh, degrading and misog- misogynistic uh, music. Um, that was degrading and belittling and berating of women. And the hip hop community was up in arms about it. You know, they, they lawyered up and they fought against, you know, legislation that was trying to ban, you know, certain hip hop music, certain genres of, of music. So if you, if you, if you take it back to the early nineties, and understand that even back then, there were people in place that was trying to change the direction of, of where hip hop and, and where music was going, and no one paid attention. No one really, no no one really understood the the bigger picture and what Dolores Tucker was trying to was trying to say back then. The long term effects. The long term effects. Right. It's, it's funny because back in the day, before you and I, Elvis Presley, his his form of dancing was considered to be provocative. 
Right. And he stole all them moves from James Brown. Exactly. But I'm just saying, so look how far we've come, you know, as far as promiscuity. Uh, yeah. All right. So I remember the most risque album cover that comes to mind was the, the Little Kim album cover when she was squat down with her legs open. You remember that? Oh, man, I'll take it back even further than that. Hardcore. This, this, is, this, is for, this is for all the, the real hip hop heads out there who really know uh, the, one of the most provocative album covers that was put out was Ice T. Uh, oh, with the, the, with the chick holding the Mossberg, with yeah, his, his the wife with his ex-wife, uh, Marlene Ortiz. But she was fine. Though, oh ooh, man, ooh, was ooh, she? Ooh, ooh. She on that show with uh, Corey Holcomb now. Shout out to Corey Holcomb, fifty-one. I did not know that, bro. Shout out to Corey Holcomb. Yeah, 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 fifty-one, fifty. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that 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 to me, for for what I remember, that was one of the most provocative album covers. That was that it was it, it was hard. It was provocative, yeah, but yeah. It was provocative, but I don't know. Little Kim running neck and neck. She she had that thing gapped open, dog. Well, she took it to another level. <laughs> that was next level. Well, so so the point I'm making, if you think yeah. about it, and why I specify Little Kim is that now you had back. I remember we had Little Kim and we had Foxy Brown, and I thought those were the two most, you know, risque female artists we've ever seen. Right. Well, that's all of the female artists is now. It's like, yeah, and then you got to understand. Even back then, we had a variety of music. Like, if you wanted to listen to the provocative, uh, you know, Lil Kim and 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 Foxy Brown, then you can listen to Ladybug from Digg uh, Diggable Planets. Dope, you know what dope. I mean? Then yeah. you can listen to Moni Love. You know, uh, uh, Shantae, Roxanne, Roxanne, Shantae East. That's old school right there. So MC Light. MC so, Light was hard MC though. Light, you know, uh, Queen Latif. Like there was a variety back then. Like it was, it was a lot to choose from. Now, everything is just one way. That's from that's from the women with the twerking and the, you know, showing everything under the sun to, the dudes making the drill kill music. That's just promoting. Now, hey, yeah, that side. drill music. That drill, hold on, that drill music, bro. Um. When, when did uh, bragging about killing somebody become relevant or prevalent? Are we smoking on, we smoking on such and such. We just killed them. And then these kids, if you, if, man, they got switches on the guns and stuff, man. Like they're doing overkill. They're doing way too much. They're doing drugs, right? These dudes, they don't understand that they're really, it's, it's like a genocide. It's definitely that, bro. Every it's time a genocide. I on social media, man. Every bro, you, 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 you're my... killing off your own kind. Yeah. This girl right here, Sexy Red, she, I heard her make a statement said, uh, oh, no, I don't use condoms. I'm the raw dog queen. I'm like, and, she's had, and she's had on record STDs. So you got to understand the message that they sending out to the young youth, to the young girls that's coming up who don't have, you know, the proper guidance at home because of whatever reason. And they listening to this music and they watching them on social media. What do you think they're going to be inspired by, man? What do you think they're going to look up to? This is the very thing that they're going to be inspired by and look up to because this is what they're retaining and, uh, intaking on a day-to-day -day basis they're ingesting a lot of bs so, so 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 us being fathers just hypothetically right if you saw your daughter doing something risque within their culture what would you do i'm i'm sure what the consequences entail for a lifestyle as such I'm going to show her the dark side of what she think is glamorous and, and sexy and cute. Because for all that glitz and glamour, there is a dark side and an evil side to that, to that shit, too. Brittany Renner. What you think about Brittany Renner? Oh, she's a man-eater, bro. She's a man-eater, like... 
Hey, she's brutally honest about who she is and what she about. I can't. I, I, can't I like her though. You know what? I, I like her, but hurt people hurt people, bro. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. Look, somewhere down the line, because I was listening to her interview at uh, at uh, uh, the podcast with uh, Shannon Sharp. Club Shay was, Shay, yep. Club Shay Shay. Shout out to uh, the, the unk. Um, but I'm. She's very intelligent, highly intelligent, beautiful. Oh, she went to college. She's very articulate. Great athlete. She was a dope athlete. You know what she's, I'm saying? She's she's a dope girl. She just her morals and values is uh less than. But here's the thing too. What th- these young black women um don't understand, just like you remember when they were trying to come out with that freaknik freaknik uh documentary and women yeah <laughs> It was yeah. a lot of black sisters who are older, who are our age now, was right. trying to boycott that and ban it because they did not want to be exposed because, you know, now they're professionals and yeah. and homeowners and just, you know, pillars in their communities. And right. they would they was they would have been ashamed, right? I, did, did it come out? I don't I don't believe so. Okay, so what these young kids don't understand, these young women in particular, is that everything they're doing is out there. Once it's out there, it's out there. It's not going nowhere. Right. Right. And, you, and you're that's what they're not thinking in. about. They're, they're not thinking about they're not thinking about life 20, 30 years from now. They're 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 thinking about living in the moment and then being young in this time, in this moment in time. That's all that's all they're thinking about. Because I say that for the simple fact that you got girls in their twenties getting their faces and shit all tatted up and their bodies all tatted up like what do you think you're gonna look like when you're 50 years old and 60 years old with all these goddamn tattoos? See, at least a man he can wear a long sleeve t-shirt or a long sleeve button up shirt or whatever the case, long sleeve, you know. But for a woman, they wear dresses, they wear feminine clothes, so their tats are gonna always show. And then- what do you think that's gonna look like when you're older? That shit kills me when I see all these chicks. With all these damn tattoos. Look, and they want to be respected. Here's another thing. When the money when when the money become more than morals, right? Um, think about the struggle, you know, the struggle that that, that our people had, like your moms and dad growing up, man, right? Trying to survive and make it, right? as a couple or even in society. Just imagine having to deal with inequalities and coexist with, with a relationship, right? I, imagine cohabitating it with a relationship and having a kid during the 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 the, the, the segregation era. <laughs> right. And those people stayed together and loved each other, bro, right? in, in spite of everything they were doing. Imagine you, you know you walking, man, with your wife or your old lady, man, and a cop comes up and just start kicking your behind, man, or or smacks your wife. You know, they had to go through, they had to endure that type of stuff, all just to have these kids out here degrading themselves and and and, and not having no respect. Cause see, we I grew up, we grew up on NWA and everything. We heard them use the B word and everything, and and degrade women and everything. But now women are embracing. The degradation. It's like the norm now. It's okay to be a B. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's you know what I'm saying? This is who I am. Yeah, I'm not B. What? And if you ain't got no money for me, if you ain't got a bag, I ain't even dealing with you. Where where did the love go? No love. A woman will leave you right now, man. Oh, he can't keep a job. Newsflash, they 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 swing the pendulum now that the woman is more masculine than the men and got more opportunities and more resources than we ever could have right now because of the, the dynamic. And that's to destroy the black home. But the women don't understand this. Oh, he can't do nothing for you, girl. Leave him. But what's what's invaluable and what's you can't put a dollar amount on as a man. 
that protector, that, 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 that love, that guidance. But the scenario of what have you done for me lately has destroyed the black household. These, and then these young ladies, uh, they always blaming the man. But if you go on the dating sites, the first thing that stands out to me is has kids. Well, I'm going to keep it frank. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. It's a lot of women that got kids that are single mothers. Why is that? Why are you all single? Why you ain't got a man? Why you can't keep a man? Why you keep pointing the finger, placing the blame game on a black man, but you're single? Make it make sense. Am I tripping, Kareem? I mean, am I tripping? Nah, man. I mean, you make some very valid points. Uh, we become a people of, of, of filth and, like you said, degradation. Uh, we, 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 we decided to choose the, the bag over morals and values. But then back to what we spoke about earlier, um, a lot of these women, man, who are like that are, and this is not a knock against single black women because not, I, no, have, not, not, I, just want, I want to preface and say that right now. It's, this is not a knock against single black women out there raising their kids, doing the best that they can do. I have some of my family, but Likewise. but what I can say is that a lot of these women with these type of attitudes and these type of mindsets were typically raised by single women. So they seen their mother disrespect their father degrade their father, say disparaging things about their father, was told by the mother, if a man can't take care of you, that's crazy. He can't do nothing for you. So this is being taught to the to to the young women at an early tender age. So they grew up to be exactly what we're talking about. If he ain't got a bag, I can't fuck with him. You know? If he can't do this for me, I can't fucking. If he can't do that for him, for for me, I can't. So these are the times that we live in, there, man. It's it's quite sad to raise kids or to or to uh, have young kids growing up in this in this society that we're living in today. And 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 you know, just imagine when we get older, dog. Their kids, how are their kids going to be? That's yeah. what scares me. Yeah, well, hopefully, um, hopefully there's a there's a generational shift like there is all the time. Hopefully that next generational shift is different from this one. Because there's always a generational shift. What do you think about uh, them uh, demasculating? The young black males with these, with with the euro look, with the, you know, the the, the man purses and the skinny jeans. Uh, I mean, they've been emasculating us, man, since since the beginning of time, man, and we, and we allow it. We set, we let our black celebrities, who most people look up to, I don't know why people look at celebrity as like uh, as clergymen or as 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 prophets or, you know, however, but they 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 praise celebrity so much so they're driven and moved off of celebrities opinions and what they say and how they think and the thing about it is once these these brothers and sisters make it out the hood they don't come back to invest in their own communities which is where it came from but I can't blame them in a sense because our own people are our own downfall. And and just to answer your question, like the emasculation, I mean, they've been doing it. Um, and like I said, they we've allowed it because, again, profit over morals and values. No morals. They, well, in order to have morals and values, you got to know what they are. If they haven't been instilled, they don't exist in that person's life. 
right? If you don't have an example, if you don't have a blueprint, if someone if someone if someone didn't show you uh that's wrong, that's right, then the man that you are today, you wouldn't be as successful. Somebody had to show you, moms, someone. Right? I wouldn't even necessarily say that. That maybe on the surface, but you gotta understand, like a lot of people and a lot of things can be can be influential. Like, for example, I learned a lot of shit from watching TV. Like I mean, I agree. Show. You know, I knew how to I knew what the idea and what the structure of a family was supposed to be like. I didn't have to experience it, you know, directly. I seen that shit on TV. And that's another thing. But but Bill Cosby, shout out to Bill Cosby, because that was a great depiction of 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 a dream ideal black family household, right? That was that was just something that was that existed maybe with rich black people, because Hux uh, Heathcliff Huxable was a doctor, and, and and his wife Felicia Rashad, what was she? She was a uh, she psychiatrist. Was no, she, she was, was she was a doctor too, right? No, I think she was an attorney, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, she was an attorney. So, so the life they <laughs> was just, you know, what I'm saying it was basically a depiction of a black family with white amenities. Which was, you know, which is a rarity. Why? But it, why is it white amenities? Because they, white, when, hold on, when, you can see too many. I, I've never seen. I've never. First of all, it, uh, let me let me break it down. Your sometimes your social setting is determined by your economic setting. Like, you know, if you yeah. can't afford, if you can't afford you know what I'm saying? Uh, a five star restaurant, right? You're not gonna eat five star food, and you're not gonna be around five star people, right? Right. So, so that's what I'm saying. Um, so, like you said, you saw it, I saw it, and that allowed our minds to develop, though. That that that, that helped our minds. That was, and then after after the coffee show go off, then you got a different world coming on. Now you're seeing a successful black household, and then now you're seeing black kids in college right going to an hbcu right which was inspiring but it, it made it seem obtainable although right. it, it was so you know so far away right and even like shows like the fresh prince like there were good representations no. yes of black families and black people we miss that we don't have that anymore we so my that point back. Being is that my point being is that then you didn't have to have certain things directly because we had so much positivity in television that you can take something from there and apply it to your life and become something, believe it or not. Uh, 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 a blueprint, if you will, or, or just a compass. It's just right. point you direct, it's a compass. Exactly. Exactly. But in so, order to navigate, you got to know which directions go where and you right. got to know your north south east the west you got to know but if you don't know where north south east the west is you still lost buddy that's true I mean, that's why you need somebody to point you at least just I, I tell my son you just need one person to support your dream yeah one person to believe in you right and you can achieve it like i i like it's a it's, it's a skit it's this italian guy i forgot his name he said all you need is two 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 M efforts, and you could take over the world. <laughs> you see that one? Nah. <laughs> yeah, he was. He's like. He's like. You be some bad M efforts. All you need is two guys, two or three guys, and you could take over the world. Just give me two guys. And I agree. But another problem is the crabs in the bucket mentality. We have this slave mentality that oh he's 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 about to surpass me. Let me pull him back. Or in today's time, man, after that end, man, we gonna kill him. Now that's that mentality is so dangerous. It's so self hate, deadly. man. It's self hate. Oh. Self hate. We hate ourselves so much that people who look like us, we hate them just as much. 
And that's just a sickness, man. You How know? do we go from Fred Hampton, Bunchy Carter, Huey P, Malcolm X? How do we go through all of these guys, man? They was they was do it down for the cause, and now none of them exist. That's why we don't. That's that's why we're in the position that we're in because they took away those guys from us that could have led us and got us back, you know, in order, you know, got us aligned with our true nature. Because we lost ourselves, we lost our true nature. We're not a violent people. Mm -hmm. A civilized we are, society. We are. We are, we are, we are a, a, a Brazilian people, man. Intelligent. Very, but we lost our way, and they knew what they were doing when they were putting together these Cointel pros that was eliminating all our leaders. They knew what they were doing. It was all part of the, all part of the plan. Social engineering, propaganda at its finest. They, 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 what you call, they remove what you call the so-called uh, head of the snake. So we had, we had several heads on the snake. They eliminated every single head. And the sad part about it is that the way society is set up today, it came from us. It came from our civilization. They were, they were learning reading, writing, and arithmetic from Kemet. Right. They were coming from, 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 from Rome, you know, in Greece, just to study in Kemet, which is in Egypt. Yep. Um, they still can't figure out, figure out how the pyramids were constructed. Oh, now, now I've heard alien civilization. So you'd rather say <laughs> something from a whole nother solar system had to come here because we, we can we can't possibly be that intelligent. We can't possibly, they, listen, man, they embalmed bodies that are still intact thousands of years later. Yeah, their technology is 50,000 years ahead of us. Man, I wish our, our, our I wish uh, more of us who are old enough to really, well, here's the thing, they won't listen. We can't tell them nothing, they won't listen. Nope. We can't we can't educate them now. They're too gone. They're too far gone mentally. They won't yeah. listen. I had a kid today at work. I was uh I was doing something. I was I was in the gym. And I looked to the corner of my eye. This kid was picking up my cell phone that was on my on my desk. I said, hey man, put that cell phone down. He said, man, F you, man. I'll knock you out and take your cell phone. <laughs> and then that hood, that hood in me. Hey man, this is a young black kid, man. This is, I said, man, I, I pay you. I, I pay you to try. I told him. <laughs> I'm at hey, I'm at work, but I yeah. told him. I said, I'll give you my whole week's check. I'll pay you. And you can have it. Try it. Yeah, man, they, they lack respect, bro. Like I told him, man, listen, man, I'm telling you, man. And today is a lost art. Well, here's the bad thing, too. It's so sad that parents now, back when we were in school, if our teacher called our parent, yeah, right, moms or pops coming up to the school to check you. Now the parents coming and checking the teacher, saying little Ray Ray can't possibly do what you said he's done. And how dare you say something to my child? And those are the parents who did bad in school. It's a vicious cycle because educated parents are not going to respond like that. Parents who's, who's, who's had a level of education, has traveled, has, has been exposed to different things, typically isn't going to respond the same way that a parent who hasn't had those life experiences would. I'm just and, speaking from experience. This is this is not, yeah. you know, conjecture, innuendo. This is like Pro, experience. No, no. Pro, prime example, Dave Chappelle's mother is an educator, was an educator. He 
he blows people's minds. Oh, he is so great. See, here's the thing. People, black, our culture, so we call it, when we first seen Dave Chappelle stand up, oh, he's not that funny. Yeah, he no. was, he's always been funny to me. He's always been funny to me. You know why? Because we're educated and we're intellect, so we get we get what he's saying. But right. if you're not educated, right, and and your and your and, and your vernacular is 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 minimal, right, you can't ingest this man's intelligence because he's dropping Jews after Jews after Jews. But it, it it hurts me that when you have to dumb down to talk to your your brothers and sisters, and they have. What, what you call an inferiority complex? They think, oh, you're talking down to me. Or you think you're smarter than me. You think you're better than me. No, I'm trying to trying to enlighten you, man. But they automatically shut down, bro. Shh, dude, it's bad. You, you've ever dealt with that? Tried to, trying to educate or talk to somebody, man, and, and it's just like they're not receiving it? They're like, how dare you? Right, no. 100% bro I've, I've experienced that so so what now what how, what's the solution uh man you know what if you can pull one in and help one you've done God's work bro we can't save a nation if a nation don't want to be saved but if we can save one We've done a we've done a great deed. If one person can say, you know what, when I talk to Tone, and when he shared with me information and enlightened me on how to build a foundation for myself and and how to be responsible and how to be a man and take accountability, that changed my life. That made me a better person. If a if a if a young man or a young woman can say that, bro, you've done a great deed. So what's next? That's all we can do is save one, bro. Can't save everybody. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That that's. That's great to hear, and that's a hard pill to swallow as well. Right. You know? Yeah, but these are these are our realities, so we can't be oblivious and naive to the reality, so it's better to have these conversations than to not and have a complete misunderstanding of everything. And for, and for all of you viewers, um, neither one of us, uh, this brother right here, Kareem, nor myself, n neither one of us are rich. We're still trying to figure it out. We look just like you. We've been where you've been. We've struggled. We've been homeless. We've been hungry. You know what I'm saying? We've had, to, we've had to do things we don't, we're not proud of. So we're not on here trying to be on a pedestal and degrade our people. We love our people, male and female. Absolutely. And we love everyone. Um, we love everyone, all ethnicities, all colors. Um, and this has been a great platform, man. This is a great platform, excuse me, for, 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 uh, topics like this. And, uh, the only time you should look down on a person is when you're helping them up, man. You know, and like Kareem said, if you can help one person, but maybe that one person that you help can go back and reach and, and go grab somebody else. That's right. the key. That's the that's idea. The, that's the, that's the concept. Each one teach one. Right. But uh, I want to thank you, man, for ch for charming in, man. And uh, we gonna we gonna do this again, my brother. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, give it up for my boy Kareem, man. Thanks, man. All right, all good, man. I appreciate the invite, man. Anything you want to anything you want to add? In I, I hope to continue to do these shows with you, man. I hope to continue to enhance and and, and broaden the, the content and to continue to elevate and to prosper, man. You know, sky's the limit. Let's get to work. Yes, man. Let's get to work. That, bro. Much love.